Hey guys, welcome back. I'm John, and I just wanted to wrap up the the Ball Python Spotlight series for with kind of with my Blue Eye Lucy's, um, with the hatchlings that I have from this year because I have four different snakes here that look kind of completely different. Um, these two were from my latest clutch with Tesla and Snow White Snake. Um, so just to show you kind of the difference, let me get up here in the camera as to kind of what you're able to get out of snakes here when you're when you're breeding them uh, this guy over here is a, a special which is a or a crystal which is a mojave and special but he i think he has something else going on whether it's blackhead or leopard or ghi the parents had just so many genes to work with and it's hard to tell um you know when you're working with the blue Lucy is what he has, but he's kind of really yellow on the sides and has a beautiful purple stripe going down his back. And there's like a little yellow stripe inside of that. Um, but he's really pretty. Uh, I'm curious to see what he looks like in a shed or two. I'm kind of even maybe thinking about keeping him for myself because how cool he looks. And this one is, I'm assuming to be a Mojave Lesser. It is all white. And some of the other ones have a little bit more pattern on it, but Typically, this is what you're getting when you're getting a Blue Eye Lucy. Uh, you know, it's a Mojave Lesser. It's an all-white snake with little, little pretty blue eyes. And this is your kind of your, your prototypical Blue Eye Lucy baby. Now, two of the older snakes I have from an earlier clutch in the year, which I'm trying to think of who, who the parents were oh so the parents were a the bamboo walter male, male i have and a mojave anchi female so this is bamboo this is a blue lucy gene probably the most dramatic single blue lucy gene by itself when it's not combined with anything it also happens to be the coolest gene to mix into ultra male, in my opinion and the other thing that I've noticed with bamboos, with single gene bamboos, is they produce some really awesome paradoxes on them. As you can see, there's just like this random orange stripe towards the back half of his body. Um, and it's kept color. I mean, he's two or three months old, and it's kept color pretty well from when he was born. So uh, to me, uh, let me see if I can get focus a little closer so you can see it a little better there you go look how cool that is it's just a random paradox on his back like it strips out all the color and there's just like this orange tint around it and it's kept color as he's aged so i'm kind of um you know really happy with how that looks he's probably going to be a keeper for me i have him in the hold back rack for now just to how cool that looks, just to kind of show people, hey, I'm kind of looking at this like, well, some of these snakes I'm going to keep because at some point, you know, I may get into doing some educational stuff locally, um, or even if it's in my videos, and having cool snakes where you say, look, this is a single gene, but, you know, there's a there's, once you breed so many snakes, you're going to run into things like paradoxes and chimeras, and, you know, this is a cool little paradox that he has. Um, and now his brother here, is a blue eye Lucy, two genes, uh, bamboo and Mojave. And as you can see, he's all white, um, but he has, and he's a, he's a, these are both chunkers, they eat both pretty well. Um, I think I was talking about him in one of the other videos, if we'll get focus here. Maybe not, depends what the camera feels like doing. Um, he's pretty much all white, but he's developing some pretty cool yellow markings down his back. Now he's possibly Enchi too, because there was Enchi in the mix and it's kind of hard to tell him this. Um, but he has, it's kind of, I don't know if it's picking it up or not. Down his spine, he has some really cool uh, yellow markings that are starting to appear as he, as he ages. And that's a, so that's a bamboo Mojave mix. So, you know, these are two of the boys that I have from last year. They're getting really big. I think they were born maybe in July, um, and they're, they're 
frozen thought eaters have eaten pretty well. Um, I think I'm keeping this guy's in the holdback rack for now. This guy's actually still up for sale for now. I may change my mind and decide to keep him. I'm not sure um, because he's pretty neat as well. But you can only keep so many snakes <laughs> that you breed every year. Um, but those are you know four of the cool different things you can make in them um, in the Blue Lucy combos. Uh, you know the single genes to the to the double genes. And there's a lot of variety in the Blue Lucy genes as well. Like I said, I mean this is a single gene snake. This is just bamboo. And that's how dramatic of a pattern it produces. And there's a lot of different combinations of, of how the, the actual offspring look too when you combine two different Blue Lucy genes. So, um, and the paradox on him again is probably one of the coolest things I've seen pop out this year, one of the coolest surprises. I produced, I think, three single gene bamboos in this clutch. And he's the only one that, that had, one of them had like a little bit of an orange tinge on some of the scales. But he's the only one that actually produced a big paradox where there's this big white stripe in the middle of it and then all this orange color on the outside. But I have seen several other bamboos on Morph Market that had that of varying varying degrees. Some had bigger stripes, some had smaller ones. So it's not, I guess, not uncommon with bamboos. Um, I'm curious if I if I produce that again when I uh, when I breed more of them. But it's a it's a really cool single gene. And if you haven't seen a bamboo ultramel, look at them. Ultramels, typically when there are only one or two genes in them, they stay more like a caramel color, uh, you know, brown. The bamboo ultramels are like super, super yellow, very bright, and for a single gene in an ultramel, does a lot. It does, it does a ton, so take a look at that if you haven't seen them. Um, but that's it. This is probably my last video with any of the Blue Eyed Lucy's I have in the spotlights because I have a lot of other stuff to, to sort of get to. Um, but I want to show you some of the babies and what they look like when they're younger because they do sometimes change and maybe dull out a little bit as they, as they age. So thank you guys for stopping by and we'll see you next time.